Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're making an aircon vest. Here's the first test of the simple water chiller from AliExpress. This is my setup here. First, I fill up the water of the water pump, and then I power it on using a 12 volts battery. Currently, it's already turned on, and water is flowing through these two hoses to the water block inside. Next, I turn on the water chiller. This water chiller is connected to the PC power supply over there and that is supplying 70 watts of power which is 6 amps of current the water started at 28 degrees celsius and it has fallen to 23.6 degrees celsius now after 5 minutes and basically I've set the target to 18 degrees celsius so let's see how long it will take to reach 18 degrees celsius at the moment the hose is feeling cold to the touch so it's working. Well, the temperature in this room is 30 degrees Celsius. And we had the water chiller running for more than half an hour to about 40 minutes. And it seems that it, the temperature could not get any lower now. And it's about 21.5 to 21.6 degrees Celsius. So I'm going to stop the test now. As I plan to make this system portable, here I'm running a battery test using a 3S LiPo pack. It's a 4000 mAh 3S LiPo pack. And also I have replaced the thermometer that came with the water chiller with this one here. It's a thermometer built into the cap, so it's really neat. So let us run the battery for a while to see how long that will last. After 35 minutes of runtime, the battery gets pretty warm, so I've disconnected it and measured its voltage. This cell is still more than 3.3 volts, which is great. So it's drained to about 9%. So if I have two of these batteries hooked up to the wire harness over there, I should get one hour of long time. In order to keep the cost low for the DIY cooling vest, I went online and found myself this good looking outdoor vest. It costs between 17 USD to 26 USD depending on which seller you are getting it from and also the size that you are purchasing. Well, besides getting the vest, I have also purchased these tubes here. This is an 8mm inner diameter tube that will connect to the water pump as well as the water chiller but it's too thick to be used for carrying ice water on the vest itself so I've gotten this thin 4mm inner diameter rubber tube This is pretty thin, it is slightly thicker than the tubes used in the commercial liquid cooling vest but it will work Now to transit from this thickness to this one here I've gotten myself a Y splitter the way this works is by having the 8mm inner diameter hose connected here and then it will split that water to the two 4mm tubes here so this will be the inlet that carries the cold water from the water chiller to the vest and I will have another identical set like this which is for the outlet in this shot you can see the draft layout of the rubber tubing on the vest and here I'm taping the tubing to the vest to hold them in place before finally sewing them to the vest. Now this is the moment of truth. I'm actually feeling the cold from the tubes. But the vest is a little bit too loose. If I press down those tubes against my chest, I could feel a little bit colder. But definitely I could feel the coldness on my chest and on my back so yeah this is really working in this setup I have the water pump secured to the water chiller using this mounting plate behind so it's not moving anywhere I may be attaching straps on the sides so that I could hand carry it I imagine if I mount this on my back I will look like Ghostbusters so that would be pretty hilarious so the water has cooled down quite a bit from the room temperature of 29 degrees Celsius to about 24 degrees 24.1 degrees Celsius and it's actually pretty cooling to wear it. after wearing the vest for about 15 minutes the temperature of the water has risen to 25.5 degrees 
which is not too bad. And by the way, I have a control valve here to control the flow rate. Currently, the flow rate is set to 100%. And also, I have this quick release system so that I could press the button to detach the tubes from my vest. So that's about a 3 degrees Celsius drop in temperature from the room temperature of 29 degrees Celsius. Here's the entire system mounted to my bicycle. You can see the water chiller and the batteries as well as the cooling vest. Well, this concludes the final test of the aircon vest and it actually works. After a workout, the temperature is pretty constant at about 26.3 degrees Celsius. And the normal water temperature is usually about 29 degrees Celsius. And once again, it is colder than the temperature of the air around here. So it helps to keep the body cool, but not cold. I hope you like this video and thank you for watching.